Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Amar Hazid. Me and Wama Iskandar will present our group bridge paper presentation. Okay, for this project, we were tasked to make a paper bridge capable of bearing a mineral water of 1.5 liter. So to come up with the idea, we need to use creativity during this assignment to make sure that the paper bridge can withstand the load. We must comply with the test. We are also going to boost the paper bridge structure. Next is the design concept for our bridge. From this, we managed to come up with three choices that we are agree relevant for our bridge. Which is the first one is truss bridge, uh, cantilever bridge, and beam bridge. So from these three, we only need to choose one design. The first design is truss bridge. This structure is attached the elements like a triangular unit. So it also can be defined as wooden or metal triangles that can be composed of a truss bridge. The advantages of this design is the cost is way more cheaper than the other design and the structure is extremely strong and effectively manage both compression and tension by spreading out the load from the roadway throughout its intricate structure. The second design is cantilever bridge. The design supported on one end and should project horizontally. It uses the simple beams when construct a small foot bridge. The advantages is first, less evasive, which only needs one other tooth to be impact and also reversible. Next, the risk of decay forming are less around this bridge. And the last one is they only require less work to construct the bridge and just few of the parts together. So it means that the construction for this bridge is quite cheap. Okay, the third design is beam bridge. This design is the simplest bridge to construct in the world. It is a fact. So this design is very common and can find it anywhere. The structural type is simply supported and there is no any moment to transfer through the support. The advantages is this bridge can be constructed very fast. The amount of time to build this bridge is only depends on the material use and the design. Next is the strength of this bridge can be improved by using concrete elements. Alright, after the discussion has been made between our groupmates, so we decided to choose truss bridge design. We will use this design for our project. Before we proceed to the procedure, let's talk about our material and cost. The material that we use in this assignment is scissor, pencil, sellotape, ruler. This four material is a common material so we don't need to use our money because we already have this material. Next is A3 paper and a bottle of 1.5 liter mineral water for the load. For this for this two material also we don't use a single chain. Why? Because we took it from the recycled material. Yes, go green. Okay, for the glue that we use in this project is super glue and paper glue. So for super glue the price is around three ringgit and sixty cents, and for paper glue is two ringgit and forty cents. To conclude, the cost to build our paper bridge is only six ringgit. Okay, next, Homo Iskandar will proceed from this. Assalamualaikum and hi. I will continue the presentation. I will present about construction of the bridge. Um, because uh, lack of time and only 10 minutes given and our team have 3 attempts of making bridges. Uh, we already include our video time lapse in our submission. So today I will present just the picture. Okay. Um, this is for step 1, step 2 and step 3 for item 1. Next, uh, step 4, 5, 6 and 7 for item 1. Okay, and next, uh, step 8, 9, 10 and 11, which is uh, step 11, the final step, the final product has been produced. Uh, the final step for item 1. Then for item 2, okay, this is uh, step 1, step 2, step 3. Then uh, step 4, step 5. Then uh, the final product have been produced from uh, step 5. Then for step 3. Um, this is uh, the final attempt. 
So this is step 1, step 2, step 3 and step 4, step 5, step 5 which is the uh, the the last and the final product have been produced. Okay, uh, this is test process and observation for first attempt. Uh, as I will observe, uh, the bridge can hold 1.5 litre mineral water and we observe more on uh, 10 minutes later and the bridge does not um, destruct or uh, have any deflect on it. But uh, as we can see, the trusses uh, is, uh, does not have any function on it. It uh, just the decoration on the bridge. So uh, we improve our bridge on the second attempt. This is test process and observation for second attempt, which is we uh, already moved the uh, cord under the trusses. So the trusses will be functional. Uh, to transfer the loads so uh, we uh, put the bottle horizontally and vertically and for 5 minutes and 10 minutes uh, and the bridge uh, can hold the 1.5 litre mineral water loads uh, very successfully so uh, but um, as we can see we use cello tape which we misread uh, doctor direction for our bridge so we um, rebuild our third attempt bridges for the next slide okay this is the final attempt we use glue um, and as you can see the final product this our final product can uh, hold 1.5 mineral water loads very successful, successfully and the trusses are functional as well can tra transfer the loads we uh, test uh, and put the bottle vertically and horizontally uh, after 5 minutes and 10 minutes the bridge does not deflect and and does not have any, any does not have any destruction on it next is analysis from the experiments that we all conducted the all three paper bridges is able to carry a load of 1.5 liters of mineral water but for the first attempt, the function of the trusses is only for decoration, I suppose, because uh, the, the cord does not located under the truss to carry the load. But we improve that for the second and final attempt, which is we move the cord position to locate under the truss to carry the load. So it can uh, withstand the 1.5 liters mineral water loads. So it's successful. Uh, experiment for us. This is the result for our final calculation of our bridge. As you can see, the load is distributed to the entire triangular truss bridge. The force of the load is 20.6 Newton and the force output for point A is 10.3 Newton, same as the force output for point G. Point A to B, the compression is 15.44 Newton, same as the compression, same as the point for FG. For the point B to C, the tension is 23.15 Newton, same as the point E to F, and the point C to D is a compression of 34.71 Newton, same as the point D to E. Then next, uh, improvement. So there are four improvements that we make, which is first, uh, lay the bottom cord under the triangle trusses to carry the load. Uh, two, we use extra glue uh, for strengthen the bridges. We increase the horizontal member in the bridge, which is we use that to put uh, the bottle uh, in the bridge. And four, roll the paper tightly in the first step. Uh, we have to roll the paper tightly uh, for the bottle cannot, uh, the bridge cannot be deflected uh, by the bottle. Conclusion, we can conclude that the paper bridge is strong enough to, to support 1.5 liters of mineral water for about 5 minutes and above. Uh, using the right material is also important to build a paper bridge that can stand a mineral water weight of 1.5 liters. The structure of the bridge will strong enough to sustain the required load. So that's all from us. Um, thank you.